Hey folks, how's it going? Today, it's time for revenge, because I was playing through Voyage of Discovery a little bit more, and I finally managed to get back into the Hangman stage. So, team-wise, fairly standard, just bringing my <laughs> Mitha, Rewia, Gloria, Safia, and Samantha. When it comes to buffs, on standby, 60% crit rate, 60% crit damage ignores 60% of the defense, which means characters like Rewia, we want to alternate standby and attacking. Second, when using healing skills, decreases the cooldown of all skills by one turn. This one is absolutely amazing on Samantha, would not want to get in here <laughs> without this one. Basically, lets her use the five turn cooldown skill every single turn. Strike back count plus one, strike back damage plus 40%. But Safia doesn't really care about the plus one. And the only other unit I'm running this on is Rewia. But still, doesn't come into effect all that often. Lastly, yet another safety measure on top of the healing. These two have been more than enough to keep us alive, despite the lack of 70% damage reduction when burned and poisoned. When it comes to debuffs, for them, of course, it's just going to be physical damage immunity nullified. So, we're going to start by baiting Norgo into attacking Mefa, so he pushes her back as well. The little Tarot we're going to save for later, once Norgo gets the one-shot skill. And you've seen already, Ravia did the standby. Because first thing first, we're going to get rid of these two. Sacred Sanctuary, of course, we're going to be spamming this one. And now it's time to start tanking. Little bit of damage on the two hangmen. And that's the money shot. One nice AoE, and they're both down. Thankfully, the enemies also ignore the little tarot, so we're just going to not make it easy for them to get it. But yeah, despite the damage being a little low, doesn't really matter, we're fine here. First snipe on the Hangman Summon. Very nice bait down there. Now we put the flag down for the extra cooldown reduction, extra energy, and we start working on these two. The same speed between these two, the hangman summons moving one after the other always feels a little bit weird. But yeah, we managed to separate them by a few tiles, so she gets some nice free damage. All damage reduction, multi-heal, Mesa is going to be absolutely fine down there. And once again, another Sacred Sanctuary. They're not coming through to us. Absolutely not. When it comes to taking damage, little fire under our asses honestly doesn't even matter all that much. Because we still maintain a lot of damage reduction, but this still deals some 5% damage per turn to the enemies, so better to have it than not. It does slow movement, but we're just stuck here. Complete head to head, we won't need to move.
and of course, Meta just keeps thanking absolutely everything. Honestly insane how she went from just a normal support at level 54 to an actual proper tank once she unlocked the rank 11 skill. Another turn, another Sacred Sanctuary. And even if this guy keeps on giving shields, honestly doesn't really matter. Somehow their healer just got stuck back there. It's not even making his way onto us. And there is the first resolve triggered. But still, we're fine. The heal block honestly a little bit annoying. Probably more annoying than proccing the resolve in the first place. <laughs> Secret Sanctuary once again. <laughs> Oh right, this was also before I changed the tarot on Safia. Uh, she's still on a devil tarot rather than the wheel one, wheel of fortune. Probably could have done a little bit better with wheel of fortune as well. But yeah, now that she has the mark from her, we went to pick up the invulnerability so that she wastes it once again. And since she should be fine down here, she's going to solo kill the sniper. The max extra healing we don't really care all that much about. And we renew the flag as soon as possible. She's separated from this guy, and she's the one that deals a little bit more damage compared to the others, so I do want her to be the first one to go down. And guess what Samantha does? That one buff is so damn fun. One AoE, first elite death. With the others, soon to follow. That's number two. And that's number three, back to back. This one was hella satisfying. So now it's just us versus tank and healer. We are basically at zero risk at this point, and the stage is basically one. Uh, one thing I should have done differently was to use more standbys, especially from Rewia. Probably could have cut down another turn from clearing this, but at the same time, it went plenty fine. Oh, 
かってきな撃せろ速さこそ武器だあ、いや、シェスディエクセキューションスキルエスウェル、サディリー、ディナンティーパーセンダメージダクション、フォンディエクセキューションスキル、ディーンレッターテイクノーゴーダウン、バッスティーン、デッセイ、ダウンイゴーズ、シジオネガイマス、ユレシワナイ、エンデッスティーヒーラー、ディスワンウォスファン、ディスワンウォスアクシュリーカイトファン。And that is one of the two stages that I couldn't clear consistently. Finally done. The other one is going to be Agatha. But I've got a couple of ideas for the Agatha stage as well. The hardest part is getting it once again. That's going to be it for me for the moment. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Good luck clearing those stages. And see you guys around soon. Ciao!